The main thing that people need to realise is that wrestling is an art form. We teach the art of professional wrestling here and sometimes to learn that art you sublimely need to train people in other areas to bring that art form out in them. One, it, number one, more than anything, relieves stress. People work, have stressful days, they come in working from the London. It's a way to relieve tension, number one. Um, Number two, it's a way to come out of your shell. Number three, it's to learn about charisma, projection, every single different element, the tools you need to become a top level professional wrestler and learn your art. You need a character to get your little gimmick as it's called in professional wrestling. So we have like half man, half robots, half man, half lizards, we've got half man, half woman. We've got uh, witch doctors flying monkeys, fish, we've got them all at Lucha, so it's very important because you're, you're, you're start, if you're a fish, if you're, um, say you're a reptile, your body language and your energy is all down low and you're kind of slipping around. It's weird, it's weird, a lot of people, when they put the mask on, they embody that character, you know, it's a strange thing, he's kind of like a method actor. Um, I can't describe it, it's just something when you put a mask on, you, you do, it helps you get into that frame of mind. If you, if you just go out there, playing gym, you know, it's very hard to kind of um, get that image across, but when you're under a mask, you can kind of, I guess, hide your identity, so you're not as self-conscious as well, which also helps you get into that right frame of mind. There's a kind of weird kind of psychology to go with it, but um, I think if you ask any wrestler that goes on a mask, the minute they put that mask on, they become that character. <laughs>